it's wet. You guys, this is so crazy. We're in Louisiana. We're at a uh, roadside visitor center, Atchafalaya swamp area off I-10 or 12. Rains came over overnight. We overnighted here and uh, thunder and lightning. It has been crazy. Dave is out running in this right now. He, uh, he's crazy too. <laughs> Great place to overnight, but man, this weather, there's flood watches happening all over. Um, Pistol is not excited. I thought we were done with the raincoats. Um, yeah, so we just went through uh, pretty much three states in just a day or two. We've been putting a lot of miles in, headed to the desert. We should be out of this in maybe a day or two. Oh, actually by the end of today, we should drive out of this. Uh, we're taking our sweet time getting out of here because it's going to be crazy on the freeway in this weather, but um, we'll get some more miles in and get on down the road and get out of this. Yuck. Dave's back. Let's see how this went. He was out there a couple hours running. How'd it go, babe? You look a little wet. Ten miles. <laughs> Miserable wet gravel. But the map you? says I'm in Louisiana, but I swear it feels like I'm running Oregon. <laughs> Don't you feel alive? <laughs> uh, no. <laughs> we are actually going to cut through Lafayette today and then we're going to go check out Sam Houston State Park. It's just above Lake Charles. So we're still hot footing it west. It's funny <laughs> because we're like in a hurry to go slow down. But you know, when the weather's like this and you might as well be driving, right? We're not going to be... Yeah, it's a lot better now than it was. It was coming down. Okay, so we skipped right by that campground we were looking at, Louisiana, because it was still wet, and we figured it was probably flooded. Because there was a lot, Lord. there's flood watches everywhere. <clears throat> we just kept trucking. Uh, we are in Texas! We're just over the border um, into Texas from Louisiana. Today, we are not getting back on the freeway, because we are hmm. done with that. <laughs> we stayed at a Walmart last night, as you can see. But, okay, there's some BLM land, uh, National Forest land, uh, north of Houston, and that is where we are going to go today.
Good thing we took care of that right away, huh? <laughs> there would have been some thick kicked on clay mud if Ugh. I not Oh it my off. gosh, so bad. Texas mud. It's some yeah. sticky, gooey stuff. Red. We're heading down to a state park. It's about 20 minutes away from here, maybe. Let's see if that works out. Ah, we found a place to crash for the night. Lake Livingston State Park. Um, we picked the driest spot we could. The rain that we drove through yesterday came through here first. So if you check out back here, it is wet. Hoping that doesn't translate to Skeeters later, but I think it's too cold for that. Um, nice campground, a lot of spots that there's no one here. And that's what I remember, I love about traveling through this time of year. There's just, you basically have your pick of any campsite. Super nice gals at the front. Um, really quiet. I don't care that it's wet. It's drying out. There's blue sky. We got some food plans later. Might be some kebabs on the menu. <laughs> kebabs. <laughs> That's how you kind of have to say it, right? Kebabs. Kebabs. <laughs> Here's Lake Livingston. We can't come to the state park without actually showing you the lake, can we? Crystal, what you think, girl? I don't think today's a good day to go swimming, huh? I don't know how big this lake is, but it looks pretty big. here that are really cute. How fun. Pistol and I walked by ourselves, left Dave to his own devices at the van. <laughs> Hi. My eyes are rested now. Yeah. We Looking at the van. Gone forever. I need to just close my eyes for a while. So much driving. Oh, so much driving. I think it might be time to get those briquettes. Oh, you already got the flat pack out. So this is what we're gonna kebab on tonight. The flat pack grill and fire pit. So that's how small it packs. Wow. And you can use it, you can put firewood in there, like small pieces of firewood in a small campfire, or you can use briquettes and cook on it. We have not done a campfire on it, we've cooked on it one time. We cooked some seafood on it, but I used some large all mesquite briquettes, and they just couldn't get going enough of them. I probably could have done it differently, but it didn't get hot enough to cook the fish the way I wanted it to. So we're going to try something different with the kebabs today. Uh, someone's clawing our food bin over here. You know what I have? I have a treat in here for you, girl. Yeah, you want a treat? You want a treat? Pistol, want a treat? Are you a good girl? Yeah. <laughs> We're trying out the flat pack grill again. Yeah, it looks good. We've got zucchini, squash, mushrooms. We've got some shrimp. We have uh, more food and grill space. We do. This is, guess what today is, you guys? It is our 13th anniversary. And we're having our romantic 13th anniversary dinner tonight. I love it. I, I mean, honestly, I would want nothing more. This is where it's at, or, or out here living, you know? We were married 13 years ago 
In Vegas by Elvis. If you hop... That's real Elvis. Some people, it? some people think it was. Even she thought it was. But... <laughs> if you hop over to our Facebook page at Carry On Vagabond, we have put up a couple pictures over there. Um, yeah, so 13 years ago, married by Elvis. Had a bunch of friends fly down. It was a hilarious and fun time. It was, and it does not seem like 13 years ago. No, it does not. Can you imagine if we just said 13 years ago, hey, guess what? In 13 years, you're going to live in a van. We're like, oh, wow. How did we screw up in life? <laughs> <laughs> not really. I'd be mean, like, wow. No, then we would have. Now maybe, it's like, yeah. I don't know. I mean, we could, we, we could have a home if we wanted. I just don't think we'd be happy. No. Where are we going to be 13 years from now? In a restaurant. That's a good question. Having someone cook us a really nice, a, fancy dinner. <laughs> no, I don't. I want this. I love grilled zucchini. That's like top on my list of grilled things that I love. Ooh, got the grill marks. Not much heat over there because I got some mesquite. Oh, I see. Check this out. Oh, we got a packet of mesquite in there. Well, I thought... I thought I'd put some in a tinfoil packet over there because the wind's been blowing this way, so I thought... Mm. Just a hint. Looks dang good. Dinner is served. I'm pretty happy with a flat pack grill. Yeah. I think we'll use it more. Now, the only thing you have to take briquettes with you... And we don't normally have those. We stop today and grab some. Um, and one thing you noted is it takes more briquettes than you would think, right? Yeah, it, it does. You got to have a lot in there. I think that was the, the the one other time we used it. I didn't put enough briquettes in there, and it didn't. That they didn't stay hot enough long enough to cook that big. We had that big cod fillet mm -hmm. on there, so yeah, for a simple compact. Grill. I'm happy with it. Yeah, I think I think we will be using it more as we go along. Next uh, next chance we get, we'll just get in a little campground and we'll put a bunch of twigs and we'll just a little campfire in there and see how that works. Yeah, that'll be fun. And if it's good wood, if it's clean wood, you could actually just cook with the wood instead of gas. Oh yeah, you sure could. Mm -hmm. Nice. So all in all, I'd say A plus. Winner winner shrimp dinner. Let's get down on it. Okay. All right, we'll catch you guys. Leave a comment. Bye. Bye.